the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. It's the most prestigious comedy festival there is. No man hosted! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the music, thank you all. Bonjour, 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 bonjour les amis. Great to be here, for, for real. So yeah, I'm French. As you can see it on my face, not really, really. Uh, yeah, my parents are, uh, my mom is Iraqi from the Middle East. That's why I say thank you for the music at the beginning. Normally in stand-up comedy, to cut the music, you have some move to do, we have to do this. But with my face, it could be some misunderstanding. <laughs> Last time I did that, my uncle was in the crowd. I did this one. Which one? This one? Tell me! I do it right now! I quit doing this. Yeah. Are you people in the couch? The VIPs over there? Great. <laughs> They're on the place. They're on. I won't be surprised if that guy starts to clip his toenail right now. Wait, yeah, I'm home. <laughs> All right, we good. That's... Wonderful. So I moved, from, uh, I moved from Paris a year and a half ago to be here with the Black Belts of Comedy. I've been doing comedy for 12 years in French, and now I'm here with the Black Belts of Comedy. I got my name on the wall. That's great. I made it. My name is on the wall. And <laughs> I remember I, I was hesitating. I was like, New York or Los Angeles? I didn't know. So I went to New York, I went to Los Angeles, and I've decided to Los Angeles because I didn't want to be sad. <laughs> I'm happy here. And uh, the, the other reason is because I, I was playing that game. I don't know if you know about that game called Grand Theft Auto V. Yeah, you know that game? So it's in Los Angeles. So I'm going to that city. This is, I want to live here. So I was with a bunch of friends and we were visiting the city and we were in Santa Monica and we saw the, this Ferris wheel. And I looked at my friends, hey, I killed a lot of people from up there. They're like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, with well, that Muslim face, yeah. <laughs> uh, New York is kind of crazy. I don't know if you had this uh, uh, subway experience in New York. That's something really uh, amazing. So you got a, a pole here that you have to grab because you don't want to touch the stinky people around you. So you grab the pole here, grab it here. Not here, it's slippery and dirty. Just here. Or here, that's the, the tip I'm offering you. But sometimes it's full of hands. There's so many people, the whole pole is, you cannot park your hand. There's too many, even hands here, everywhere. <laughs> and I got that hand, I cannot grab the, the pole, and here, close to my face, the hairiest hand I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the guy got literally different haircut on every finger of him. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> so, hear me out. I got the hand just right there, kind of disturbed by it, and I started, it's a little tip I'm offering you, I started to blow with my nose discreetly, like... <laughs> he tried to scratch his hand like this, and now I'm in a game. I love games, I'm in a game. I want him to let go of the bar, and I will do whatever it takes, okay? So I got the hand just right there, and I started to do... Still scratching his end, but still holding the bar. I'm, I'm going to be crazy right now. I'm trying to see his face, but there's too many people between us and shows me his back like this. That position. Now I'm really mad. And then I realized something. If I can't see his face, he can't see mine either. I can do whatever I want, right? <laughs> Look, I got the hand just right there. My heart started to race a little bit, and I did this. Bingo, I win the bar. Yes. Yes. Take some balls to do that, yeah. Take some French balls to do that. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't know how it is to say that, but uh, I don't want to be a father. This is not something I want. I, I don't want kids. I don't want kids. I, understand, I understood that uh, after my second kid, I thought, oh, this is not for me. I'm not getting into that shit. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, I got two kids from two different mothers, and my wife is the mother of none of the kids. This is uh, my best way to be American. This is it. <laughs> yes. USA! Yeah. Uh, look, I've heard something about French here. Apparently, when you guys say, pardon my French, it means like you're being disgusting. Well, I was shocked about that. Like, it's kind of racist, right? But in the meantime, I'm like, maybe we are kind of disgusting. Like, 
my balls are shaved. I've neared my balls. No, not shaving, neared my balls, right? It's better. Like when she licked the balls right after, <sighs> great. Telling you, that's the best feeling on earth. Guys, near your balls. Uh, <laughs> and li <laughs> let the hair cream like a little bit more, like 30 seconds more than the time. It's a little burned like that. When she licks, great, great, great. All right, <laughs> going to another level up, sir. So uh, I got that gift, uh, the VR goggles. Have you tried the VR goggles? Crazy. You go on a roller coaster with those goggles, it looks real. You go on a roller coaster for real. So I was by myself and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch some porn with the goggles. It looks real as fuck, like it's real, okay? And back in the day, I used to, to jerk off on catalogs, like on Macy's lingerie, like, <laughs> this is good. And now since the internet and everything, like one thing that now the mouth is on the right hand, so now I'm a lefty. So, you know, uh, improvement, okay? This is human being improvement. So I'm on the goggles, I'm watching the thing, it, it looks real. And first of all, you don't look at the woman first. You look at the set design and you feel wealthy. Oh, I got a swimming pool in my living room. Like, it, you're wealthy. I got a black dick. I'm going to do some damage. It feels, it's you. It feels like it's you, for real. It feels like it's you. It's amazing. So I'm like, okay, let's do some damage. And how we jerk off, we switch a lot. She's going to start, but she's not going to finish. A lot of women, like we're doing it. Yeah, a lot of women, a lot of women. And now I'm on that scene, and that dude, very muscular kind of dude, looking at me like that. So I'm like, okay, we are in an orgy. Let's go. Orgy, let's do it. So I'm trying to look at, where are the girls? Where are the girls? So what I didn't know, that some movies are made for men, and you're a man. And some movies are made for women. So I didn't know yet, but I'm a woman right now. But I didn't know yet. So <laughs> I was sitting down with my goggles like, <laughs> and look, I was looking for the woman. I turned like, I don't know if you're gonna have the empathy to understand what happened. But when I get back here, I got two information. First information, I got a pussy. So, Whoa! Like it's, and the dude is licking the pussy. So, Whoa! It, it feels real. Like, yo! And of course, I could have taken off the goggles, but it's a performer, it's a pro. I'm curious how he does it. Like, okay, okay, this is how it works. Oh, I stayed a bit too long, okay? <laughs> Cut, the guy is on me, fucking me right in the eye. <sighs> Sweating on me. <sighs> okay, I finished that night under the shower, shivering like this. <laughs> Went out of the shower, Twitter, hashtag me to explain all the situation. <laughs> okay. Can we go a little bit more French, or uh, what's, okay. We go more French, all right. Let's go for a non-TV kind of gig, okay? So, first of all, I'm gonna teach you some French. I'm gonna teach you how to say vagina in French. It's very important for the rest of that story. Uh, <laughs> so, we call it moule. Moule, uh, as uh, here, it's the, the seafood, the muscle. You know the seafood? We call it moule, okay? <laughs> And after 50 years, we call it an oyster, like it's big enough. So, <laughs> so, mool, right? So, my way of learning English, I moved here a year and a half ago. So, people, when they talk to me, they kind of talk to me sometimes. At the beginning, they talk to me like I'm stupid. Oh, how are you doing? Like this. So, I wanted to catch real conversation around me. So, what I do, I go to the mall, Target, whatever. I put my earbuds, no music. I'm listening to the conversation around me. Like, but I'm like, like this. And I'm trying to listen to the conversation around me, and sometimes I'm blessed. So that, that woman on the phone, and I can see like she's kind of seeing if I'm like, hearing or not, and I'm like, <laughs> and then she's on the phone, and she said, "Yeah, he wanted me to, to give him head, but he got stinky balls." And I'm like, "Whoa!" I was shocked. I was shocked because, first of all, I don't know how many of you suck dicks here, but it feels like, it feels like. It's not, the, it's the, only the balls, how the guy, like, no stinky dick, stinky balls. It's very located, like, the look, maybe he's dipping in shit before fucking for fertilization, like, for, so I'm like, okay. And then I know, I'm going to be a little bit divisive here, but when I hear a woman saying, hey, stinky balls, stinky dick, whatever, I'm telling you, woman, every woman in here, every woman in here got at least one day in her life a very stinky pussy. At least one day, every, you are very pretty, you got a stinky pussy too. Like every woman, every, we can have stinky dick, we're okay with that, I got a stinky dick, okay, don't suck it. 
Why I'm saying that? Because sometimes you don't even know. Women don't know sometimes. Some women doesn't, don't know. And uh, it was my very first time. I'm 17 years old, right? And I'm naive. I don't know a thing. And I'm going to get laid. So I'm looking at the ceiling, super shy, and the girls start to... If you have a boner, that's okay for me. Like, let it go, let it go. And then she, I didn't know it was a thing, but she started to lick my nipple. My, my, my first re reflex was, don't do that, it's gay, but I liked it. I was, oh, oh. Take the milk. Take the milk. <laughs> I started to like it very much. And, oh, holy shit. And then, and I cannot look at her. I'm like looking at the ceiling, super shy. Oh, oh yeah. And then I feel like, She's sucking my dick, but I'm not sure. But from what I've seen in the movies, she's sucking my dick right now. So I gotta check. I got, is she really sucking my dick? I'm checking, she's sucking my dick. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, this is great. So I'm French, I'm a gentleman. She's sucking my dick, I'm gonna lick her pussy. I'm a gentleman. This is something we gotta do, man. We gotta lick the pussy, yes, 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 yes. We gotta lick some pussy. First time ever, first time ever. I told you, we're not yet at the French level. It's starting right now. <laughs> she still have her pants, underwear. She still have her underwear. I came in front of the pussy. You don't, first of all, when you don't know the pussy, the first time you, you introduce yourself with a little kiss, like, how are you doing? The little kid, we all do that. The first time you see, how are you doing? At the moment I kissed the pussy, the smell smashed me in the face, like, Oh. I understand the mool, yeah, the muscle. Okay, this is why. This is uh, okay. I, I got the seafood thing. Okay, so I'm like, holy shit. But, but, I'm like, if the first time you lick a pussy, you smell that, you think that every pussy in the world smell that. And I'm like, I'm not spending my life with not licking a pussy. I'm brave. I'm doing it. I'm brave. I'm gonna lick that pussy. I'm brave. Take off the underwear. When I take off the underwear, I didn't know, but. Some of the smell was trapped in the underwear. I saw the smell. It's a, the first, like, it's like this. The smell is doing this. I saw the smell, I was like. You know, when a boxing match and the, the referee start to count, even if the boxer is still standing up, I was like that. Like, knock out, but standing up, like, like this. And I was like, engage. And I understand something at that point. I cannot put my tongue on that pussy. It's not possible. There's no way. But I'm too engaged, it's too here. I cannot go like, sorry, this is not happening. I cannot, I can't. it's, it's rude, right? So I'm here. That's a tip that I'm offering you guys. I used my lower lips to fake my tongue. So I, <laughs> a little bit of my nose, a little bit of my nose. <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, this is too much, okay. So I started to, to fake my tongue with my fingers. So I, I started to breathe like that to make her believe it's my tongue. At one point, I feel like I spent enough time for the licking. Let's start the finger blast. And I've learned that not so long ago. I love it. Finger blast, yeah. I love that word, like for real. Finger blasting. It's, I don't know. There's something about that word that I love. So I saw the finger blast. It feels like a teen world. Like, you're not a grown up, you cannot say, yeah, finger blast for you guys. Like, it's feeling like, but I finger blast her pretty well because when I take off my finger, it was like in the steam room, you know? How they are in the steam room, Psst, all shrinky like that. <laughs> so I finger blast her for a while and I'm fine. And now I'm ready to have the first fuck of my life. You know how it is? The first fuck of my life. I'm ready. It's not her first fuck. She took the finger I worked with, this one, and she start licking the finger. I'm like, okay, no more French kisses, girl. This is, this is not happening. Like, she doesn't know yet, but tomorrow her, her tongue is gonna be swollen. Like, something's happening in her tongue. It's not possible. So I'm like, oh, holy shit. Then she took off my finger from her mouth and then she wanted me to, me to lick the finger too. Like, have you seen that knife scenes from the movie? Like, Thank you guys so much, this is my time. What a blast, what a blast guys, thank you so much. All right, thank you, wow, I loved it.
This has been a Funny Media Group production.